hello everybody and welcome to the next episode. Today Yana and I are going to try our luck in this field here and hopefully we find something pretty cool. I know Yana's going to be looking for some quartz stones aren't he? And, and I'm hoping for a few flint tools so wish us all luck everybody. Are you ready? Yeah? Okay here goes. Today's video has been filmed over two days because yesterday Yana and I found an interesting stone artifact made from blood red flint. I have seen red flint in this location a few times but they are mostly cores and flakes. So at first I didn't pay too much attention to these finds until I did a little late night research into red flint and found that the stone originates from Doggerland, which has long since disappeared beneath the waves. It was about 11,000 years ago that this land bridge between England and Europe disappeared. Doggerland was home to Mesolithic peoples. It was lush and fertile, but low-lying and so prone to flooding and marshland. The final destruction of Doggerland came in the form of a huge tsunami that drowned this area of the North Sea and the English Channel, turning England into the island that it is today. During the Neolithic period, blood red flint became an exotic commodity and Neolithic peoples were willing to travel fast distances in search of it and they were willing to put their lives at risk to obtain this red rock. Maybe it was a distant reminder of the lost paradise of Doggerland. The only place in Europe it is now found is the North Sea Island of Heligoland. This red silix was a rare commodity in prehistoric days. Here on this island and the long lost land bridge, these rust red stones originated in dead waters which sloshed around 90 million years ago in the oxygen deprived water. A lot of iron oxide was deposited, colouring red the silica from which the silix, the flint, was later formed. Humans always have had a passion for beautiful stones and the red stones of Heligoland appear to have been much in demand for all kinds of tools and weaponry, sickles, axes, daggers, scrapers and much more. If you want to reach the island from land, you must cross a considerable stretch of open water without any sight contact with land features. How humans could have done this in the Neolithic is incredible. Blood red flint tools, flakes and cores have been found in various locations across Europe. Here in England they have been found in the New Forest, Hampshire and here in East Anglia where Yana and I continue our journey and understanding of the prehistoric era. Our treasure hunting is not just about finding items of interest. As the moment you take them out of context from the area you found, you lose so much knowledge of the peoples that lived and made and worked them. So this video focuses on that elusive blood red flint, as even the leftover fragments discarded thousands of years ago are just as important as the tools themselves. They tell us that our ancient Neolithic forebears travelled for months at a time and across vast seas to obtain a raw material that could be found in no other place in its natural form. They brought them here to the site we are searching and for the first time in 4,500 years they are being collected, recorded and respected. Keep watch of this video because at the end we're going to show you an incredible item that Yana and I found. It's made from blood red flints. So keep watching 
stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video now this tool here looks pretty interesting that looks shaped that actually looks paleolithic it looks like some kind of primitive chopping tool yeah i like that and i'm pretty sure that's what it is i've seen a few kinds like this on the internet yeah that's really nice Gonna give Yana a little bit of a help here with a few quartz pieces. So we've got a really nice tiny piece of smoky quartz there. What do you think of that, Yana? Do you like that? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So there's definitely some nice small pieces around here. Yeah. Oh, I really was hoping we had a really nice hammer stone here, but look what we got. Some tennis ball, some <laughs> dog's ball. Yeah, I think there was a dog over there. I, has, I actually do have some hammer stones perfectly round like this. And yeah, we I do. thought I might have got lucky and found another one. Look! Yeah, I think I saw a dog one over there. <laughs> <laughs> find of the century, everyone. Well done, Stephen. <laughs> Not a good find. It's just a tennis ball, so it's a tennis ball, yeah. I don't know what you're hoping for. Yeah. It's a bit of rubbish though, so we'll take that back and we'll throw that away when we get home, yeah? Yeah, I got it. Maybe the farmer wants it, maybe he could come <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, red serpentine. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it's not. It's red flint. Oh, we better keep that. Now, red flint is not actually natural to this area. It's actually from Doggerland, which is um, now beneath the channel. Ooh. That's a really nice piece of blood red flint. Is that like it's gonna fall? Well, I don't know if you can see that, but that's perfectly smooth around, and it's that really nice indent there in the middle. That's definitely been worked. Is it? Yeah, that's either some kind of grinding stone or perhaps even a stone lamp of some kind. That's really, really nice. And I actually quite like these larger items. That's really, really nice. Yeah, no, it is nice. Yeah, I like it. It's been smoothed completely. <laughs> Look at that. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool find. It's a really nice piece of quartz there, Yana, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well that, done. Look at that, it's like a little bit of white on it. Yeah, it has got some white, yeah, it's got, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely another smoky quartz, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very lovely. I really like it. You like that one, do you? Yeah. I think that's the best find I have. At the minute. I like this one. Like... Mm. We've got another piece of. Red serpentine. No, it's not red serpentine. This is what? this is um, red flintstone. Red flint. Oh. And again, um, um, this stone isn't local. It's actually found in Doggerland, which is now under the ocean, under the channel. Nice place. Could have even been used as a tool as well, actually. That's some kind of boring tool. Um, <laughs> so we've got a nice piece of red flint just, just here everyone it's quite a big piece as well just going to head down to where the ditch is and have a little look See if we can find anything down there. Maybe not that way. Oh, 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 oh,
lovely, doesn't it? All those flowers, all those woodland flowers. And me in the middle. And you, and you just there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm We might have another very old chopper. I know that. That's very old. We've got something here as well, I'm not too sure what that is. It's quite shiny there. Do you see that guy? Can you see where I can get out from the strong? Ah! So sharp. Yeah! Another piece of red flint. Still with the cortex at the top. In this section here, although it's quite blunt, it's quite an interesting little piece. Well, I don't know if you all can see that, but we've got something really interesting here. It's like a oh, looks like a piece of work tool. Ooh, well, that's really. I don't know if you can see that if you want at home. Can I get some water and we can damp it down? Yeah, yeah, go and get some water. Let's go and get it. Right, let me hold it on. There you go, guys. Right, give it. Right, I need a bit more now, I think. A bit more? Yeah. Plenty. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, wow. I think we just found an incredible axe. Very really nice. That's a red flint axe. <laughs> and it's just found here, just sitting in the woodland. Yeah, how cool is that? And it's by this rabbit hole. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's a rabbit hole, so it's been dug out the ground, I can so imagine. So nice! I like it. Oh, it's dirty though. Oh. Yeah, great find. Souvenir from Doggerland. Which is under the water. Yeah, it's under the channel. Yeah, that's a great point. Is that actually true? Yeah, it's true, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there used to be a land bridge across from England to Europe. Really? Yeah, but um disappeared about eleven thousand years ago. Oh wow. Yeah, there was a huge tsunami. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the huge tsunami just swallowed huge amounts of land and lots of people too because that was home to lots of Mesolithic people. Oh, was it? Yeah, so it was about 11,000 years ago. Oh, geez, we weren't even born then. No, we weren't born, but this is a great find. Yeah, I love it. Okay, everybody, I think that pretty much concludes today. Yep. So a huge thank you for joining us. And, and we'll see you all soon. And Jana and I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Big bye. Bye-bye.